Yes. Good afternoon, my dear friends, my dear students, my dear brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to We Care Online Education about Tamil Manakkam. So the things today is Monday. What day is today? Today is Monday. What date is today? Today is September 7th. And what day is tomorrow? Tomorrow is... Tuesday, what day is day after? It is Wednesday. And what date is tomorrow? Tomorrow is September 8. What special on September 8? Tomorrow is St. Mary's Festival. They celebrate very nicely in And uh, in, even in Bangalore also, it's a very big festival. Due to this uh, COVID-19 uh, the church has been closed, functions and whatever it is, the prayers has to be conducted at home. So these are the conditions. And then two days, it was a holiday for you, that, that was on Saturday and Sunday. How did you spend two days? The question is asked like this. Sir, I was at home, I didn't go anywhere. I did some cleaning work. Like that you can say, I was watching TV. I was. I didn't go anywhere. I was indoors. In indoors, and I can't be clear. I didn't. I did some cleaning work at home. Sir, my exams are going on. Something. I was preparing for my exams. I was preparing for uh, the interview or whatever it is like that. You can you can say. So uh, the one more question is: At what time did you wake up today? In the Naka, I didn't have. I had an akka. What did you have today, sir? I had chapati, I had pongal, I had palau, or whatever it is. And one more question. When did you have your breakfast? At uh, 8.30, at 9 o'clock. So, this is how you have to speak. Keep on asking some question and answers. You learn English very easily. It is very easy to learn English language unlike other languages. They say there are 3,600 languages in this world. But still, English is considered as a global language. Still, English is considered as a global language. And at the same time, it is very easy to learn. It's very difficult to learn Chinese or Japanese or German or Swedish or French or Arabic or whatever language it is. Any other language, for example, Bengali or Punjabi or Malayalam, whatever it is, very difficult to learn. But learning English is very, very easy. Anybody can learn English. That is what is called the global language. Why English is very necessary? Sir, we are comfortable because I live in Tamil Nadu. I am comfortable with Tamil. I live in Karnataka. I am comfortable with Kannada. I live in Kerala. I am comfortable with Malayalam. I live in West Bengal. I am comfortable with Bengali. <coughs> Chinese, everything you say. I live in China. I am comfortable with my Mandarin language. In whichever place they live, the people will say <coughs> they are com comfortable in this, their own language, but still, why we want to learn English because it's a global language or everything for the books and journals are in English. So, for communication purpose, for, for communication purpose, it is very, very important because you can, if you know English, you can travel throughout the world. The person who's from Delhi, he knows to speak. Hindi, a person who comes to Karnataka, he will not, he will, they will not be knowing how to speak in Kannada because in people in Karnataka, they speak Kannada. So you want to do a business deal or something like that. So whatever he speaks, you may not understand whatever, whatever he speaks. Whatever he speaks, you may not understand whatever you speak, you speak and he may not understand. So... The best communication language is English so that anybody can understand. So that is what it has become. It has become very easy for business purpose or for anything else. For anything else. So it has become a common language. It is easy to learn. And it is very essential also to learn like a self. Okay. <clears throat> for communication purpose, for business purpose, <clears throat> it is very essential to learn English. So I taught you some sentences about uh, on Friday, but today I will read out a list of across which we come across in our day-to-day -day life. I will tell even the common errors. I I will tell you how people speak, how people 
make lots of mistakes while speaking but still people speak in the same way but nobody you should somebody is there to correct or you should know whether he is speaking or she is speaking is right or wrong they will they should know that they have to find out whether what we are speaking is right or wrong so okay we're coming to i'll read out some of the sentences it will be very beneficial for you give me some blotting you should not say give me some blotting give me some blotting paper so blotting paper was there in the beginning suppose you write in ink the ink spills on your book or on a sheet or down so you take a blotting paper and it sucks the ink will be absorbed in that paper that is called blotting paper you should not uh, say give me some blotting you have to say give me some blotting paper <coughs> he lives in a book so you are not you are not from a different you are from a different place you have come to live in a different place maybe for education or for job purpose or some business purpose so you say he lives in a boarding is wrong you should say he lives in a boarding house <coughs> but still you should not say it is black hairs he has black hair he has brown hair he has gray hair gray means white so the sceneries of switzerland are very fine the sceneries is wrong r is also wrong there is no plural for scenery you have to say for sceneries you should not say you have to say scenery only the scenery of switzerland is very fine should not should not say order you should say orders because it will be a stretch it will be some running show from 10 close for repairs should not say repair maybe many repairs are undertaken you should say plural form the road is closed for repairs <clears throat> then he doesn't like vegetable you should not say it does vegetables is always said in the plural form i went to the market to buy vegetables i went to the market to buy vegetables i eat vegetables daily you should not say singular vegetable i went to the market to buy vegetable nobody will buy one potato one tomato one brinjal or one carrot it will be in many maybe more than one so you should say he doesn't will not allow my pursue my study circumstances can be a various reasons circumstances can be the environment the house problem money problem electricity problem or some disturbance in the house where you are staying so that is called the circumstances circumstances can be anything it is not only only one thing maybe money maybe your father is not supporting you maybe the house is very small maybe there will be no electricity or whatever it is now everybody everybody house has electricity some disturbance will be there for continuous study so he says circumstances will not allow my pursue my study so you go to work and you want to study evening evening classes you change your dress freshen up myself freshen up yourself and then go to the class by the time you go you will be missing one or two periods so the circumstances will not allow my pursue my study like that you see you can't leave your job this or the reason circumstances there is no space in this bus there is no seat in the train there is no seat in this bus there is no seat in the cab or car you should not say you should say there is no room in the train you should reply now coming to please explain this exercise for me you should not say please explain this exercise to me i am not understanding this exercise please explain this lesson to me please explain this chapter to me should not say for me remember yes columbus <coughs> invented america i should not say columbus discovered america alexander graham bell invented telephone thomas alva edison invented electric bulb charles babbage invented computer or whatever it is so invention is something different from discovering <coughs> man discovered fire man discovered that sea water consists of salt by testing it it is already there man discovered some pearls under the sea it is already there 
isn't it? So discovery is something which is already there. Man discovered that Earth moves around the sun. Man discovered eight planets. Earlier it was nine, now it is eight. Already there. Man discovered and star the distance from the sun and many things is already there. So what happened is discovery is something like that. You get to know. So Isaac Newton was sitting under napkin. Why the apple fell on my head? The apple should be there itself. Why did it fall on my head? Then Isaac Newton discovered that Earth has got gravitational pull. Before Isaac Newton could discover, Earth is a powerful magnet. Whatever you throw up, it comes down. If we happen to go to moon, whatever our gravitational power. So that is the difference. Okay, yes. <clears throat> so Columbus discovered America. The sea route to America. Was Gaudi Gama discovered the sea route to India? They did not invent. Invent new. You make something out of something. You make a new thing out of something. That is called invention. Like paper, paper money, printing machine. It is not discovery. They invented. The first person paper is China. The first person to make invent paper money is China. Paper money, paper machine, and paper are the other invention. So the invention means you make something out of something. <coughs> Turn on the tap. Turn off the tap. You should not say open the tap, close the tap. Turn on. Turn off. What you have to say? Please remind me to bring some book. <laughs> Please remind me to bring that file. It is already a very important file. Remind means Please remind Please remember the address. Please remember everything, what all you study. Otherwise, you will forget in the exam. You should, unless you have to remember each and everything. If you forget, you can't take anything. Most of the things you should remember. See, our brain is something like that. You read something within 20, within 24 hours, 80% you forget. Only 20% will be there in your head. That is what, what I say is you have to practice daily. If you practice daily, most of the things you will remember. Isn't it? Not reading once and keeping, yes sir, I read once. But how much do you remember? Not much. Brain forgets 80% within 24 hours and it will forget everything within 48 hours. That is the brain. Okay, that is the nature of the brain. So, in order to remember, you should keep in touch every day or whenever you find time. My father is leaving for Delhi by 8.30 o'clock, you should not say. By 8.30 or 8 o'clock. My father is leaving for Delhi for leaving his father. Or my father is going to Delhi. If you are making use of going, you have to use to. If you are making use of living, you have to make use of far. So that is different. My father is going to Delhi. He has built a new home. He has built a new house. You should not say home. You have to say he has built a new house. His family members are coming by this train. <coughs> His family members of the family are coming by this train. I went with my members of the family to a picnic. I went with my family members to a picnic is wrong. Okay. <clears throat> and good morning has to be said from morning 6 o'clock to afternoon 12 o'clock. After 12 o'clock, up to 4 o'clock, you have to say good afternoon. I keep on repeating many times this. You should remember. When you say many times, keep on saying, saying, then only you'll remember. If you say once, you'll not remember. Nothing will remember. So morning from 6 o'clock up to 12 o'clock, it is good morning. Afternoon 12 o'clock up to 4 o'clock, it is good afternoon. After 4 o'clock up to night 12 o'clock, it is good evening. You should never wish a person good night. When you happen to see a person at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock in the night, you have to say good evening. Then only you have to say good night, sir. Immediately, first time you should not say good night. Okay. If you receive any phone call from some of your friend, when, he's call, when he calls you, you have to say good evening. Or when you are calling somebody else, when you want to phone, when you want to speak to somebody else, after 4 o'clock, up to 12 o'clock, you have to say good evening. And at the end of the conversation, you have to say, have, see you tomorrow and good night.
so this is about the timing okay coming to yes he is a cheat he is a cheater mosangar yarna mosam sir he is a cheater sir and chollu kuda adu he is a cheat he cheated on me he cheated on me you have to say he cheated me chollu kuda he cheated on me you have to say okay so coming to the king's life is different from prime minister the king's life is different from the prime minister's eventually you have to put that after r minister after put r you have to put a dash apostrophe and write yes the king's life is different from the prime minister's you should say not minister minister's you should say i get a monthly allowance of 100 rupees i get a monthly allowance of 800 rupees because Hundred is not singular. You have to say a hundred. It is more than one. You should. You cannot simply say hundred rupees. Summarize the two first chapters of this book. The two first chapters is wrong. You should say summarize the first two chapters of this book. Summarize two first chapters of the book is wrong. Summarize the first two chapters of the book is right. This you should know. So most of the people speak like that. <laughs> so it should be corrected but unknowingly they keep on if your mother is at home if she doesn't go to work even some even now also they will say my mother is a housewife you should not say housewife she is a homemaker or she is at home okay so many things has not been updated get down the bus you should not say get off the bus updated he is traveling in a bus you should not say he is traveling on the bus he is traveling he is traveling on the train he is traveling on the bus he is traveling in a car he is traveling by flight so these are the common things you should always remember this has been updated we should say summarize the first two chapters of say doesn't itself is a singular form because doesn't constitutes 12 number gross is 12 doesn't that is 144 you should say that he sold three dozen mangoes is a plural i finished 3/4 of this book reading i finished 3/4 of this book reading you should not say 3/4 you have to say 3/4 you have to use yes i finished 3/4 of this book reading let it you have to say he bought a radio for 250 and sold the same at a handsome price handsome profit he a handsome profit that it is missing he bought a radio for 250 and sold it and sold the same you should not say he bought a radio for 250 and sold the same is wrong you should, you should say sold it at a handsome price handsome price a good price maybe for 250 he might have sold it for 500 rupees or 600 rupees double the price handsome means more profit you buy something for 1000 rupees and you sell it for 1500 or 2000 rupees that is called handsome profit handsome means more profit if you sell it for if you buy a thing for 1000 rupees and sell it for 1100 so it is very less profit if you sell it for 1500 or 2000 it is called handsome profit then you should say he bought a radio for 250 and sold it you should say should not say sold the same my friend and myself accept that accepted the invitation you should not say myself this come in the last you should not say me my uncle my brother my sister and i went to a movie my parents and i went to a movie my friends and i went to the park you should not say the friend okay it should not be i i my friends went to the i and my friends went to the party i and my family members went to the temple you should not say my members of the family and i went to the temple i should all accepted the invitation you should not say myself when you should say myself myself has to be said when it is called the reflexive pronoun i did this work myself in the vela nane singe i did this work in the vela na singe avala i did this work myself she did this herself avale singanga avale singanga and they did this work themselves only say jago we did this work ourselves okay i is myself him is himself her is herself they themselves 
we is ourselves so this you should remember you are stressing there you are giving more stress to i self yourself himself herself themselves are called reflect you see i did this work it is also true but still you are giving more stress to that then you make up this spread there when you make up this words known as reflexive pronoun okay uh, coming to yes this my friend and i accepted the invitation who do you think will be promoted first who you should not say whom you should not say whom who do you think and one should always remain loyal to one's country one should always remain to his country should not say one should always remain to lament to one's country means our country tha age i am 40 years old don't say just say i am 40 so that has been outdated <coughs> the question also is asked like this how old are you i am 50 years old i am 40 years old you call a girl and ask if she is 17 years old i am 17 years old you ask that girl meri ab ye pulse ab ye under ke better say what's your age better ask a question what's your age age group they say sir i am 30 i am 25 i am 18 i am 50 like that you can say don't say i am 25 years old i am 30 years old if you say also it is not wrong so that has come into practice everybody speaks like that but you don't say update has been done i am 20 when abdul kalam passed away he was 84 when prama mukherjee the former president of india passed away he was 85 They didn't say that 84 years old, but updation should be there. If anybody asks your age, I am 25, I am 20, I am 30, I am 45. Like that, you can say. Never say yes, old. <coughs> yes, he has left smoking. He has left drinking. You should not say left. He has given up smoking. He has given up drinking. He has given up biting nails. He has given up playing cricket or soccer, or whatever. That means he has completely stopped. So cricket like that. So when you stop doing something which you had been doing it previously, modeling a sentry thing, yado or well, smoke. It is a habit. Smoking, drinking tea. I have given up drinking tea. <laughs> given up until now. Not left. That means it is understood as left or stopped. okay i have given up driving i have given up uh, drinking tea smoking i have given up playing if i say that teaching also after few years i have given up teaching now i teach for the nethi to learn that you should not say stop or left so the other way of thing he died of cancer he died of cancer like that he died of cancer you should not say he died from died of covid 19 he died of typhoid he died of malaria he died of dengue fever he died of chikungunya look at the name of the diseases so many diseases are there isn't it so you should say off will you kindly untie this knot will you kindly untie this knot untie na and the mudchi pirikino arka kodade would you kindly untie not you should not say open the knot you cannot open the knot it is already tied you have to untie it katti thalu atta abhi pirikino would you kindly untie this knot you have to say throw it don't hold this in your hand throw it adu kaiye pudichukadinga misri podunga don't hold this in your hand throw it adile kaiye pudichukadinga vittu podunga should you should not say throw it you should say throw it away you should say throw it away when he lost my book i became very angry this is a sentence when i lost my book when when he lost my book when he lost my book when he lost my book i became very angry you should not say i became very angry you should say i felt very angry he felt very sad and in chill he became very sad and chill the wrong that is what everybody speaks he became angry he became sad he became happy he felt very angry he felt very sad he felt very happy when india won the match he felt very happy not became very happy when he got a job he felt very happy 
that when somebody scolded him, he felt very angry, not became a Cholabula. Ramya and I were walking in the garden. Ramya and I, it is not was, it is two, more than one. Ramya and I were, working, were walking in the garden. Should not say Ramya and I was walking in the garden is wrong. You should remove was and the error is was, was shouting. The whole class was making a noise. Was Why you have to say was because the class itself is a singular. <coughs> was singular we say is and was. For plural we say were, are. They are playing, you are playing, we are playing, they were playing, we were playing, you are playing. So it's a plural form. For was, you say it's a past or past continuous for was. I was, he was, she was, Ramesh was. All singular is carried by was, but plural is carried by were. But here the classroom is singular. The whole class was shouting. The whole class was talking. The whole only two boys were making noise. For plural use were, for singular use was. So these are the common errors we come in, we come across in our day-to-day -day life. Instead of saying was, we say were. Instead of saying were, we say was. So this is how it is happening. I can say the whole class was playing means the class is considered as a singular. Two boys were playing. Like if you can see. I'm coming to <coughs> both of us were present. You should not say was present. He was present at the bus stop. She was present at the bus stop. It was present at the bus stop. Something like a cat or a dog. Ramya was present at the bus stop. I was present at the bus stop. Singular was. It is either singular or Plural, but you should use for we, you, they, you have to use are or were. We were present at the bus stop. You were present at the bus stop. They were present at the bus stop. Let you can see. Singular make use of was and plural you have to make use of were. All my books are with her. All my books are with her. All my books is with her. Is her. All my books are with her. Look at that. Singular is plural are. Each one of these apples is rice, is ripe. Each means one by one. I'm talking about one, one apple. Each one of the apples is rice. You should not say us drinking milk. Should not say were. He, she, Suresh was drinking milk. He, she, Suresh and I were drinking milk is wrong. Were drinking milk is wrong. He, I, he, she, Suresh was drinking milk. You, we, they were drinking milk, you have to say. So if you are making use of and I, he, she was drinking milk is wrong. You should say he, she, Suresh and I. He, she, Suresh and I. You have to write I last. Were drinking milk. Because there are four people there. So I should be mentioned last and instead of were you are making use of was that is wrong he she suresh and i were drinking milk if you want to say in singular i was drinking milk he was drinking milk she was drinking milk suresh was drinking milk that is right i was drinking milk he was drinking milk she was drinking milk suresh was drinking milk a cat or a dog it was drinking milk is correct. When you are talking about the plural form, he, she, Suresh and I were drinking milk. Look at that. You are talking about all the four. There you are talking about only individual. Suresh was drinking milk. When you come, when you add all, he, she, Suresh and I were drinking milk means that is in a group. When it is a group, it is called the plural. There you should make use of were not was. This, my dear students, you should remember. Slow and steady wins the race. You should not say win the race. Slow and steady wins the race. Talme, rumbo and steady wins the race, you should say. Tomorrow never comes. <clears throat> Why I wrote this tomorrow never comes? How it will not come? When you write tomorrow on the board, it will not come. You write it on the board, 
you come and see the next day it will be tomorrow again you come and see the next day it will be tomorrow again you come and see after one month or one year it will be tomorrow only that means they say that is what they say tomorrow never comes nalik endru varade enna pannum idu say naale maduva kelsa ivat madu ivat maduva kelsa igale madu what you want to do tomorrow do it today what you want to do it today do it now okay yes <coughs> neither red nor black suits you neither red nor black suits you rendu unku suit avadu suits you nu solla suit you par ana ungalku match avadilla unku pidikadhu sari avadilla neither red nor black suits you should say both the color doesn't suit you both colors doesn't suit you if you say neither it is singular neither red nor black neither green nor blue neither purple or gray doesn't suit neither red nor black suits you you should say suits it doesn't match neither my father nor my mother is going to the party neither my father nor my mother is going to the party and father are going to the party my mother and my father are going to the party my father mother and i are going to the party more than one this is neither my mother nor my father is going to the party you have to say rendu perum poradilla rendu perum por neither means yarume illa so one example i already told about either or neither he went by train nor by bus ama rendiliyum pole he went by flight either you choose this or choose that enadhu one either you order for coffee or tea not both any one choice either you order for mutton biryani or chicken biryani not both either you buy dress material or you buy a sari neither she bought dress material nor sari and me vaga neither nor is both did not happen either or is any one choice there is also action also also not happen either you go to work or study choice nee velik po illa padi ah sari sir na velik po matta na padigira illa sir na padigira na velik po matta either any one choice not both neither he went to work nor studied ama velikum pole ama padikave illa so you can said in the past tense also you can said in the future tense also it can said in general statement also neither neither he will go to work nor study is future tense either you pay rent or vacate the house very common example veet vaadiye kattunga illa naka veet kali pannunga neither he paid the rent nor vacated the house avu kaliyum panna video wicket panna so neither nor means nothing happened either or means choice <coughs> the news which i read today is excellent the news is always singular the news which i read today are excellent and solubrad news anadhu vandittu plural illa singular the news you read today is singular what is the expansion of news news which sort of the n e w s n is for north e is for east w is for west s is for south you collect all the information for and put it in a paper that became newspaper adratha and the peer vandichu yeah none of the boy wearing a mask none of the boy means no one was wearing a mask were wearing a mask in cholagoda stolen my spectacles have been stolen spectacles is singular but you have to say in the plural form spectacles scissors onnatha appo kuda scissors in cholra it is said in the plural form get me scissors you should not say get me scissors get me scissors a pair of shoes and or set of pair of shoes and again but spectacles means you have to say spectacles my best best has been stolen you have to say have been stolen he bore cheerfully his mistakes he bore his mistakes cheerfully our mistakes pannundu vandittu romba easy aduthukana avlo coachkave illa avlo sandoshama irundha you should say he bore his you should not say he cheerfully bore his mistakes is wrong he cheerfully bore his mistake is wrong you should say he bore his mistakes cheerfully that is correct so these are the common errors please write your name <coughs> in blue ink <coughs> please write your name with blue ink chalo kodade please write your name in blue ink or in black ink 
don't write your name in green ink or red ink look at that. negative don't write your name in green ink or red ink ink you write with a pen don't write with pencil anga with in pen and chalo kodadu you write with a pen not with pencil don't write with a pencil yes the principal disposed of the application in konja nerathula amichitaru ante disposed of of not off off has got a different meaning please switch off the lights or please switch the lights off you got off the bus at hebal get off the bus bus at make circle off of today is my weekly of off isn't it you are preventing me to do from leaving the room you are preventing me from leaving the room you are preventing me from to leaving the room parakudad you are preventing me preventing leaving the room anaga and the room vittu veliya podrathukku nee veda maatrendra nartha that means you are not allowing me preventing me not allowing me should say you are preventing me from leaving the room abin chellu he went he came by bus <coughs> வெண்டனா போறது கேமனா வர்றது பாஸ்டல்ஸ் கோ அனாக்கா போறது கம் அனாக்கா வர்றது சோ தி பாஸ்டல்ஸ் ஆஃப் கோ இஸ் வெண்ட் தி பாஸ்டல்ஸ் ஆஃப் கம் இஸ் கேம் he goes to school by bus he goes to school by train he goes to office by walking he goes to office cycling he goes to office on foot on puna nandan puna for cycling you should not say he goes to school by cycling by cycle you should not say he goes to school by walk you should not say you have to say you should remove that by walk by cycle you should say he goes to school walking nandit pora he goes to school cycling cycle pora illana he goes to school on foot you should not say by foot he goes to school on foot so this you should remember cycling walking by cycle chalagudadu by its walkable distance and chalagudadu its walking distance so these are the common errors everybody says by cycle solagudadu by walk solagudadu by foot solagudadu you have to say i go to office cycling i go to office walking my office is very nearby my school is very nearby i go walking it so these are the common errors still most of the students and most of the people do the same mistakes so look they have to update okay <clears throat> he is good at english but he is failed in maths look at that he is failed he has failed in maths but he is good at english he is good at chemistry he is good at physics he is good at botany he is good at zoology but he has failed in maths has failed in maths good at english abhi abhi chalo look at the usage of where to use is where to use at it's very important you, you cannot use is in place of at at in place of is is the poor but the at at the poor but the is putting in it's a big, big mistake okay yes. she is married to a rich man she is married to ram you should not say with she is married to a rich man or she is married to a poor man he is married to a rich girl and he is married to a poor girl. you should say to should not say with okay yes who will buy this car at such a price for such a price in chalo who will buy this car at such a price olo vela jaasti maybe 5 crores or 6 crores who will... i bought this car for 1 crore look at that this i bought this car at 1 crore chalo kuda i bought this car for 50 lakhs i bought this car for 1 crore i sold the car for 50 i sold this car for 25 lakhs abbi chollo abbi idhu vachalum adu who will buy this car at such a price in the valley yaar vaangranga and do that so these are the common errors always keep to the left not at the left but keep to the left the road leads to the bus stand the road goes to the bus stand what you have to say you should not say goats you should say and the valiya pode and the road bus stand valiya pode bus stop this stand this road leads to the airport this road leads to the police station this road leads to the bus depot 
this road leads to the government hospital like that you have to say should say leads l e a d s you should not say goes i have shifted my residence from rt nagar to jay nagar that is wrong everybody should know i have changed my residence you don't shift your house i have shifted or not that is wrong you have to say i have changed i have changed my residence from rt nagar to jay nagar or i have changed my residence from jay nagar to rt nagar so i have moved from this place abhi chal raha i have moved from rt nagar to jc nagar or i have moved from jc nagar to rt nagar chal raha mood or change your residence mood m o v e d should not say i shifted my residence is wrong i changed my office i shifted my office in chennai i changed my office i resigned and i have taken up a different job i mean chennai my nose is running and a cold i have a running nose in chennai my nose is running i mean chennai i am feeling to sleep is wrong i am feeling sleepy that to that is also wrong you should say i feel sleepy i am feeling <coughs> she i have a see having i told you in my previous class having rendered chalta sunno i'm having my breakfast i'm having my lunch i'm having my dinner i'm having tea i'm having bath i'm having a son wrong in the earth having solve kuda i'm having a brother i'm having two sisters wrong i have a brother and two sisters i have a son and a daughter having in the earth solve kuda okay so i feel sleepy i am feeling sleepy abhi chalo you should say i feel hungry i feel thirsty thirsty anaka bhagam hungry ana pasi we congratulated on his success you should not say for his success we congratulated on his success yeah please ah uh, this is very important <coughs> please wake me up kalila anjimaniki na ponom velik ponom ನನ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಇರ್ತಿದೆ ಅಮ್ಮ ಎನ್ನ ಎಲ್ಪ್ ಇಡಿಂಗ ಅವಂಗ್ಲೆ ಎಲ್ಪ್ ಇಡಿಂಗ ಅವಂಗ್ಲೆ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ವೇಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಮೀ ಇಸ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸೇ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ವೇಕ್ ಅಪ್ ಮೀ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ವೇಕ್ ಮೀ ಅಪ್ ಅಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಓ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ವೇಕ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಅಟ್ ವೇಕ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಅಪ್ ಅಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಓ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ವೇಕ್ ಹರ್ ಅಪ್ ಅಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಓ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ವೇಕ್ ಪಕ್ಕದಲ್ಲ ದೇರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವೇಕ್ ಮೀ ವೇಕ್ ಹಿಮ್ ವೇಕ್ ಹರ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ವೇಕ್ ದಮ್ ಅಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಓ ಕ್ಲಾಕ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ವೇಕ್ ಅಸ್ as is for we for i you use me for he you use him for please wake me up at 5 o'clock wake him up at 5 o'clock wake her up at 5 o'clock wake them up at 5 o'clock wake up us after wake there should be a person you should not say wake up them you should say i am waiting at the bus stop please come and pick me up you should not say pick up me pick up me is wrong pick up me and chalave kodade he is waiting at the bus stop go and pick him up she is waiting at the school go and pick her up they are waiting at the railway station go and pick them up we are waiting at the school please adhe madri wake me up pick me up wake him up pick him up wake pick her up wake this you should remember you should not say wake up me should not say pick up me it's wrong romba per adha dhan thappu pandranga panna kodada so everything has been updated okay yes i am performing puja i am perform puja panit you should not say i am doing puja i am lighting the lamp where to full christian repair full team repair i am lighting the lamp i am watering the plants setting the tanni utri you should not say i am pouring water to the plants you should say i am watering the plants nai nari nai pulling i am feeding my daughter i am giving food to daughter chola i am feeding my son i am feeding my daughter like that in chola so i am watering the plants apra vandittu tanni vandittu paal soot panitirukken solla kudadu i have kept the milk to heat i am heating the milk i am boiling water and solukuda it's wrong i have kept the water to boil i have kept the milk to boil like that you have to see i am boiling the milk i am boiling the water and solukuda apra irmana thuni vandittu veilla kaaya poda poi potu irukkana i am putting the clothes to dry should not say 
I am drying the clothes. You are not drying. Sun is drying. I am putting the clothes to dry. Terkirdhika, I am sweeping the floor. Todakirdhika, I am swabbing the floor. Look, look at the sentences. Idhala be pes no. I am sweeping the floor. Vandhi the terkirdhika. I am swabbing the. Floor. You are late by half an hour. Switch the light on. Switch the light off. Switch on. Switch off the light. Switch on the light and turn on. Pardon me now. Off pardon me now. Switch the lights off. Switch the fan off. Switch the AC off and turn on. Okay. This book is selling like hot cakes. This book is selling like hot cakes. Naga, nariya sale hoga. Or nariya ayro book sale hoga. Hot cakes means good sale. The milk has turned sour. The milk has spoiled and turn on. Spoil kete pochi. So S O U R. He went to cut his hair to a saloon. He went to a barber shop. He went to a saloon to cut his hair. Chalo, mudi vetta poyka chalo bola the. Mudi vetta poyka ne bhi solno. Tamil solla mudi vetta poyka cut his hair. Abhi chalo bola. He went to saloon for a haircut. He has gone out for a haircut and chalo, not to cut his hair. Priya is pretty. Priya is cute. Priya is beautiful. So only for girls you have to use this word pretty, cute, beautiful. I'm telling you, he's he is smart, he is fair, or he is what do you call that? He is handsome and chulna. He is handsome, but handsome can be said only for boys, girls killa. So he is good looking. Rendu per ko chulna. He is smart, she is smart. Rendu per ko chulna. He is fair, she is fair. Rendu per fair anna valley arkarde, dark anna karpar karde. It doesn't mean that they are ugly. Anga sigma illa. கருப்பாங்கிறீங்க <laughs> O O K took O F F up. He took out the shoes before entering the house. He took out the shoes before entering the temple. Okay. Open this book at page seven. You should not open this book at page twenty-four. Open this book at page one twenty-four. Like that, I say at page. You should not say on page. Unless you work hard, you will not succeed. Ninga work par lana succeed aum matinga. If you work hard, you will succeed. All of that. Opposite. If you work hard, you will succeed. If you don't work hard, you won't succeed. It is a condition. If you play well, you will win the match. If you study well, you will pass. If you don't study, you will fail. And the money. If you don't study, you will not pass. Meaning, correct? Yeah, that match all. Unless you work hard. Ningo vela panna ata vela panna na ka ina udhe na ka. You will not succeed unless work hard. You will succeed. The meaning of that, unless you work hard, you will not succeed. That means if you work hard, you will definitely succeed. So these are the common, common <coughs> errors in English. Now coming to <coughs> anybody, anyone, nobody, no one. You can use anyone. Everybody, any, everyone use panna. Somebody, somebody use panna. Anybody, anyone could use panna. Nobody, no one use panna. All these words are considered as singular. Nobody, no one is there. It can be in a group, but all this word is considered as a singular noun. It is a singular noun. That is considered as a singular noun. Have on the plural. Everybody has come. All are under the umbrella. Somebody has come. Who are under the umbrella? Nobody has come. Who are there? Has anybody come? Who are under the umbrella? Abhi. So you should make use of has only. Everybody is there. Everybody is present. Nobody is present. Somebody is present. Anybody is present here? Abhin would get up. Everybody goes to school. Nobody goes to school. Somebody goes to school. Anybody goes to school? Abhin would get up. Everybody speaks English. Nobody speaks English. Does anybody speak English? Somebody speak speaks English. So everything should be in a plural form. எப்படி நம்ம ஹி ஷி நேம் ஒருத்தர் யூஸ் பண்றோமோ அதே ஒருத்தர் யூஸ் பண்ணுவோம் ஃபார் ஆல் திஸ் பிகாஸ் 
all this is considered as a singular noun coming to place everybody plays soccer somebody plays soccer does anybody play soccer nobody plays soccer and the mother coming to eats everybody eats non veg nobody eats non so what i need to see is my difference so all these are considered as a singular noun id pakkathula vandittu is has idha use pannu what we make use of he she it name same thing you should make use of this so you should always remember this is very commonly used in our day to day life everybody in place of everybody you can use everyone in place of somebody you can use someone in place of anybody you can use anyone in place of nobody you can use no one yes. thank you for watching this video i shall stop the class now see you tomorrow at the same time see you tomorrow at the same time meanwhile have a good day may god bless you loka samastha sukhino bhavantu sarve janaanga sukhino bhavantu thank you very much